Well, hello everyone. Here we are again, reviewing another figure for the 29th time. And today we have Earthrise Cliff Jumper. So, we'll just start off with his accessories. He gets this giant cannon, which is actually three parts into one. And there are normally like these little stand things that come out of it, but I don't have that. And I guess his back is an accessory because it can become a shield. And that does lead into parts forming, which sucks. And also, sadly for me, this joint got very loose, and now, that. So that's crap. I pretty much can't even have that on his back unless he's in vehicle mode. Alright, anyway. So, as I said, this is a combined weapon. You can pull this part off and it can split open. This is more for vehicle mode storage and the second vehicle mode that he has, but I can't do it because I don't have those little ski parts. And this turns into two little pistols, which is really cool. So let's just put those in his little arms. And pop. Now, as I said, this can become a shield, but it doesn't really look the best. And also, again, the joint is very loose. Alright, so his head looks very G1 accurate, but just stylized enough to fit Earthrise. Pistols look good in his hands, got good detailing over hit paint chipping. Why? I've never talked about it in any of my other reviews. But most of my figures have chipped paint. Probably well, because I've dropped pretty much every single one of them. Anyway, he's got his very G1 inspired car shoes. I love it. Very nice detailing. Uh, the back, I mean, even if you put this on, it still counts as cable, but at least this makes the back cleaner. But it does give him this weird, like, jutting out back thing. I mean, I guess I can have it on him. I'm mean, just, like, standing still, so I guess I'll do this. No Autobot symbol, and that is one of the main problems with this figure. Also, another problem, when you don't have this on, these little parts, his little arms, you're bound to do that. So yeah, he has a bit of flaws in his bot mode, but he more than makes up for it in vehicle mode. Before we can get to that, let's do posability. Ball joint, what, nut ball joint, is that a ball joint? Oh yeah, that is a ball joint at the head. Can't look up very far or down at all, but hey, it's fine. 360 arm, arm can move out, swivel and elbow, wrist swivel, no finger articulation because I mean, the only pretty much or the pretty much only authorized figure that actually has that is uh, Prime, and I think Kingdom Tracks has it. I don't know. His waist can move all the way back like this due to transformation. Swivel forward and back. Ninety. Actually, is that yeah? That's a bit more than ninety degrees. No swivel here, but it does have that cool joint. And geez, this this ankle pivot. Wow, no up and down movement at the toe, and that is it. Anyway, with all that out of the way, I think it's time that we get on to the transformation. Now that is the transformation thing. Wait, the vehicle is incomplete. Where's the back section? Yeah. Um. Parts forming. Yeah, pretty much, like, he's just holding this thing down with his little hands. Thankfully, these these uh, connector parts aren't getting weak, so that's very, very good. All right, remember how I said this could have vehicle mode storage? Yeah, it turns out this goes here and plugs in there. I don't, here, yeah, these go, I think these go, wait, no, they go here because, like, these little peg holes in the blaster handles, and then he can have rocket boosters. This is supposed to be an homage of that one episode where he had like water skis, but I lost the skis, so now he's just a rocket car. Which, if you ask me, is actually pretty cool. I like that. Now, all of this junk, oh god, that went flying out of the way. Whoa. Look at this car. 
I mean, like, I don't exactly like the mismatched window colors, but I mean, it just looks so cool. Autobot symbol right here. Like, it's his G1 ult, it's like close to his G1 ult mode here, but like a completely different car in the back, but I just love it. I just love it. And he has two in-tank variations for some reason, weird. No painted lights in the front or back, but he does have little exhaust pipes. His hands are kind of sticking out the back though, but who cares? You can mount the gun up here, but it doesn't have a big enough hole to go all the way in, so it looks pretty bad, so screw that. Anyway, this looks amazing. Like, sure, the panel lines kind of take away the realisticness of it, but I just love this. It's so chunky, has a good little heft for a guy this size. It's just so compact and everything fits together and I just love it. Love the design of the car, love the feel of it, and even has good rollage. And I just love this thing. Also, you can flip his little wheels down for a hover mode, but you can't do it on the back. But if you could do it on all of them, we hover car. Actually, let me think of something. Uh, put this here. Okay, grab this. Pistol. And then, oh yeah, he's ready for space exploration. Mm. These are compatible with blast effects, as is every gun in the Warp Cybertron line. And yeah, overall, this guy's a great figure. Sure, he has minor parts forming, but literally every Transformer with a weapon that goes somewhere else in the alt mode is parts forming. So honestly, I don't care. And this does turn into a shield. Yeah, that's fine. Loose, the loose um, peg though is kind of annoying. I don't know if that happens with everyone's, but yeah, that's crap. I love it, buy it, it's great. This little chubby boy is definitely one of my favorite in the Earthrise series. Anyway, with all that out of the way, I will see you in the next review. Goodbye.